Hey guys, um, today I wanted to talk about uh, my 2015 WRX and kind of my impressions of it, but not the impressions of it being stock. Um, this is almost full bolt-ons minus an intercooler. Um, so I, I kind of wanted to talk about all the things that I've done to it and kind of like what are my favorite things and what are some other things that, that, I, that I really like. things that I had done um, minus an axis, you know, besides an axis board was the Q300 cat back. And I had done that pretty uh, early into, into the car's life. Maybe it was only like 750 miles or so. Um, the cat back was just barely louder than stock. Um, I knew that's kind of what I wanted just because um, I wasn't going, I was going to do a downpipe and I wanted something to be, I wanted the car to be pretty quiet. Um, so I ended up going with a NVIDIA Catalyst downpipe, and I absolutely love the way it sounds. Um, I did have a 2005 Legacy GT with a full exhaust before this, and that was it was actually pretty loud. Um, it had a Cobb Cata downpipe, an NVIDIA Catalyst subpipe, and a Q300, and it was pretty loud. Um, this car is by far much quieter than that is. Um, I'm very happy with it. Uh, I, I didn't want to draw too much attention to myself. There's absolutely zero drone on the highway, unless obviously you're going up a hill. Um, I think it sounds great. I absolutely love it. I do have a PRL intake. I absolutely love the way it sounds. Um, the PRL intake is, I believe, three inches in internal diameter. Um, it's a little bit bigger than the ETS and the Mishimoto ones. Um, kind of the reason why I went with it. I really like the way it looked too. Um, I also have TGV deletes. I have EGR deletes. I have the PRL charge pipe. Um, I went with the PRL over the Mishimoto because I liked that it had um, two pieces to it just, just for ease of installation. Um, I also liked how the PRL came in black. Uh, I think Mishimoto one comes in black too, but I could be wrong. I just think the PRL one looked nicer to me. Um, I also have a nameless uh, bypass valve and a grim speed electronic boost controller. Uh, I'm trying to think, is there anything else that I have done to the car? I don't think so. Um, it is tuned by Bren Tuning out in Massachusetts. Um, highly recommend uh, Brendan and the team out there. The guys were absolutely phenomenal when I went out. Um, I know there's a lot of there's a lot of controversy over over him. I guess with people saying that his responses to emails aren't that great. Um, but I went out for a pro tune. I drove I drove five hours out there. If you guys can drive out there, totally do it. I also did have some email revisions with with Brendan, um, and I will say that their email response isn't the greatest. But I mean, the product that you're getting highly outweighs their lack of or lack of uh, content in their email, I guess you would say. Um, highly recommend those guys. Um, if I had any questions, they were more than uh, more than helpful to explain everything out. Um, and I would totally go back to them. I will, I will be going back to them when Flex Fuel comes out. Um, but I highly recommend those. So let me get back into my mods. Uh, the PRL intake, I absolutely love the way it sounds. It's not super loud. I think it sounds great. The nameless bypass valve sounds wonderful. It It's not any louder than stock. It just sounds really, really crisp. And it does make some very interesting noises um, even when you don't get into positive boost, when you're still in vacuum, you know, really light throttle and you let off of it before you actually get into positive boost, it makes a really nice um, blow off sounds or very, very interesting blow off sounds. Um, in my previous video, you might have heard some of the stuff and I really like that. The Grim Speed Electronic Boost Controller is great because the stock units on these are only two poor and they do, they're, they don't hold boost, or they do hold boost, but they're um, very slow to respond. The, the Grim Speed 3 poor um, responds much quicker and I think it sounds awesome. You know, when you're when you're in like the 3,000, 4,000 RPM range um, and a, either a higher gear or just trying to get onto it, it makes a really nice, a really interesting flutter sound. 
to me it just sounds great i like the way it sounds um other than that it's just easier to tune i think it sounds wonderful um the prl charge pipe i put on that was one of the, the later things that i had done um that made a huge difference in school time school time was immensely um immensely reduced i guess you would say um between between gears between shifts you know i know a lot of people complain about the first to second shift how you go from first into second and there's kind of like a, a lag or it takes a while to get back up if you go with a charge pipe and you're pretty uh pretty good with your shift there's there's hardly any lag at all it's it's, it's really impressive um there's some other small modifications that i've done to the car uh here and there um but I really like I really like what I've done. Um, if if I would have waited a little bit, I would have done maybe like a Grim Speed intake other than a PRL. But I'm very happy with my PRL. Um, I'm just a really big fan of Grim Speed and their products. Uh, I I do eventually want to get a top mount. Um, that's kind of the next on my list, along with the Flex Fuel Kit from Cobb. As far as top mounts go, I'm gonna stay with probably either a Killer B or a Grim Speed. I don't want to go front mount because all the front mounts out on the market right now I think are too big. Um, there's a little, they're a little bit too big for, in my opinion, the Mishimoto one has the perfect core size as far as engineering is considered, um, but the install just to me looks way too complicated. Um, a top mount is so much easier to install um, and I, I would be perfectly happy with it. Um, if I if I didn't say already um, when I was when I went out to Bren to get um, tuned, I was minus the charge pipe and um, the EGR delete, and I wasn't running on the best gas possible. So I made 305 and like 320. I want to say since then I've been retuned um, with the charge pipe, the EGR, and a little bit better quality fuel. Um, a friend of mine has the exact or had the exact same mods as me. He was tuned out at Bren, made 330, 350. We have the same exact mods. Um, so I should be around that, around 330, 350 on his, on his dyno. Um, hopefully when I go back with an intercooler and flex fuel, you know, we'll make, we'll make a little bit more. I'm not really powered, power chasing. I think the car uh, makes great amount of power and torque for, uh, for what it is now, it's an absolutely, it's an absolute blast to drive. I love it. Um, the FA motor, I think, is so much, so so many leaps and bounds better than the EJ that I had in my Legacy. Um, the the boost comes on so much quicker um, than my Legacy did, and it, it also gets significantly better gas mileage. Um, the the stock, the, the WRX in stock form, I think, is kind of kind of gutless in my opinion um i knew i wasn't going to keep it stock uh, i really like how it is stage two now and it makes it makes pretty good power um and i have it, it, it makes pretty it makes pretty good power we'll just leave it at that um i'm overall very satisfied with the car um any other things i'm going to do to it uh, i'd really like to lower it get some uh some rear sway bars in the back do a little bit of auto crossing some wheels tires um, and then not really much after that, just kind of small uh, bits and pieces. Um, I do have I do have a, a Cusco one and a half way limited slip diff in the rear. Um, I did do a review video on that or we'll be posting that which one, whichever one I, I post first. Um, I know there's there's reviews on like the cop stage one. I can tell you that, that my tune made significantly more power than the off-the-shelf map. The 2015 WRX or 2016 plus uh, off-the-shelf maps from Cobb are great in the time being, but if you want to make any sorts of power, go with a Pro Tune. Um, even a Stage 1 Pro Tune is better than the Stage 2 off-the-shelf maps, just in my opinion. Um, but it's totally worth it to go, go with a Pro Tune. I recommend Bren Tuning. That's who I went through. Um, I'm really picky and I do a lot of research so there's I mean everybody's gonna say that they prefer this guy or, or whatever I per personally prefer Bren and and those guys out there that's who I will be going to from here on out with any cars that I have um, and I highly recommend them I 
think I covered everything in this video. Um, if there's anything more you guys want me to talk about or any questions, comments that you have, put them in the description and I'll be happy to uh, be happy to answer any questions or whatever that, that may be. Um, but thanks for listening to me, guys. Bye.